Hello and welcome to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest. As usual, we start with this report claiming that Barcelona board are ready to have patience with manager Xavi despite Champions League exit. As I said, the team is under construction. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then to conclude this episode, talking about this ex-Barcelona striker, Henrik Larsson, who recently describes Barca's Champions League exit as a big disappointment. So guys, before we get right into those stories in more detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Heading into the 2022-23 season, Barcelona were among the favourites for the Champions League. After spending upwards of 150 million euros in the summer, they had both had several positions in their team and looked ready to compete with the very best. However, they crashed out of the competition in the group stages no less. Following a third place finish, all this was topped off by a humiliating 3-0 loss against Bayern Munich at the Camp Nou. Despite that, the Barcelona administration are ready to keep more patience with Xavi. According to Victor Navarro, the board say, we trust Xavi. There is nothing to do but get up and move forward, little by little. It is a team under construction and we must have patience. It does raise a few eyebrows though, especially considering that Xavi is a Barca legend and arguably the greatest midfielder of all time. His former teammate Thierry Henry could not help but suggest the most other coaches um, would have been under fire. He said, if Barca had another coach, the volcano would erupt, Henry said. We must keep in mind, though, that this is Xavi's first full season as a coach in Europe. The Spaniard has already instilled the basics of great football in the team and with minor tweaks, especially in the fullback areas, can compete with the very best, not to forget that the board appointed him in charge of leading a long-term project at the club, sacking him this early into the season and his tenure, no less, would be a reckless operation. As it stands, Barcelona are possibly the favourites to leave the Europa League, going head-to-head -head with Real Madrid in the league and could easily leave two trophies by the end of the season. In what looked like a good week for us, of course, midweek we beat Villarreal, we beat Bibaho at home and there comes Bayern, who came and, you know, spoiled things up. Of course, prior to the Bayern game, we were already disqualified from the Champions League and, you know, when Inter Milan won 4-0 against Victoria Pleasant. So, after that disappointing and drastic rubbish performance by Barcelona against Bayern, you know, they were, of course, as we all expect, Xavi's future being the most talked about. Many fans calling the ball to sack manager Xavi. As it was the case when we disappointingly draw against when we drew against Inter Milan, so we here we have we see the Barca ball still backing the manager. Laporta even spoke yesterday, um, trying to reiterate his stance that Xavi needs time. You know that we need to have patience with him, and also emphasizing on the statement that the team is still under construction. But honestly, guys, I ask myself, is the board trying to say this just to calm things down because? Honestly speaking, if you ask the president Laporta and his board during the summer transfer window about the issue of <laughs> this team is under construction, they will say no, it's not under construction because when we look at the way Barca did their things, you know, activating economic levers, selling some properties and everything like that, Laporta was ready and ready, like he, they were trying to make that sure the team competes. If not, then the whole world couldn't have been talking about Barca a lot being one of the favourites for the Champions League. A team under construction will not be having one of the best squads in Europe. And you are talking about under construction. Honestly speaking, I don't think that's a better assertion about, you know, Xavi's future right now. Um, definitely, I think the squad that we have under a better manager, I'm talking about managers who have a better experience, who do far better than what Xavi did. Because at some point, we'll be seeing a lot of inexperienced um, activities from manager Xavi. He's a good manager, to be honest. He, have, he has the attributes. He has good ideas. But the problem is Xavi 
I think the Lord is, is as he stands, being his first year or his first full season as a manager in Europe, the load is somehow heavy for him. The expectations are high. The pressure is high. And I think Xavi is feeling the burden a lot. And, of course, the board is just trying to back him up, saying that the team is under construction. Honestly speaking, the squad that Barca have right now is not a squad that you can say is a, is a squad under construction. If not, they could have still keep the, some, a lot of those La Masa guys instead of loaning them out. They're not buying them up, and some of these superstars that we have right now. Then we'll accept to that fact that, yes, we are under construction. So let's just see. But definitely, I think Javi will finish the season. Despite, no matter what happens, I think Laporta will keep him. Because the way Laporta have been backing him up, even if we don't win La Liga or the Copa del Rey, whatever. But Xavi will still be our manager. So we just have to accept that. Then on to the next story of discussion. As Inter Milan beat Victoria Pleasant in resounding fashion with a 4 0 victory, Barcelona's, Barcelona were eliminated from UEFA Champions League. Why their game against Bayern Munich was rendered futile in their aims to reach the knockout rounds? A 3 0 defeat did not help the side's case as they endured a hellish European campaign. The Catalan Giants are set to participate in Europa League for the second successive season as their exit has been summed up as a major disappointment by former striker Henrik Larsen. He said, It is clear that it's a big disappointment that they don't go ahead. If you are at a club like Barcelona, you hope you'll get through the group stage and also go all the way and win. With what they did this summer, it was to be able to give the push and compete in the UEFA Champions League for real as they did years ago. He told television channel Seymour as relayed by Mundo Deportivo. Larson's opinion is held by several fans and pundits alike as Barca had made plenty of blockbuster signings to accelerate Javi's project at the club. Names such as Robert Lewandowski, Rafinha and Jules Koundé in particular signified a summer in which the La Liga Giants were eyeing their return as one of, if not, the most dominant force in European football once again. Why pulling a number of economic levers to finance the additions as well? Barcelona put their long-term future at risk for immediate success, tipped as the favourites alongside Bayern Munich to top the group after a brilliant start to La Liga. Larsen is right in pointing out that their exit from the competition is nothing short of a disaster which will have sporting as well as financial repercussions to the club. Great words there from Larsen. I think what he said is just is true. You know, um, Barcelona... It's a big blow, big disappointment that we're going back to back Europa's league seasons. Like, that's the reality. Barcelona is nowhere near top teams in Europe. So, we just have to accept that that is where we belong for now. So, guys, to that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye bye.